Promobot is the autonomous service robot. It independently moves, recognizes faces and speech, gets to know people and communicates with them on a variety of topics. And it can integrate with external devices, services and systems. Thanks to an open software platform, Promobot can customize and perform the unique functions required by a particular business. Promobot has a face recognition system, a speech recognition system, active mechatronics for gesticulation, a computer vision system for navigating the map, a printer for printing checks, a screen for broadcasting various information on the display, an artificial intelligence system, neural networks and many other functions. Today, robots are actively being introduced into the service sphere. The robot initiates communication with visitors, welcomes and gets to know. Regardless of whether the person agrees to be acquainted or not, he asks what operation the client wants to perform. The customer can choose it on the screen. The robot performs the function of informing. It autonomously moves around the place of work, attracts the attention of visitors, tells about the actions, offers and news of the company. Depending upon the type of chosen operation, the robot will advise you how to use the mobile application. If the operation requires the participation of a live employee, the robot will print the queue ticket. Due to the passport recognition function, the robot can scan the document, then independently fill out the data in the contract and send it to the printer. Then the client can only sign on the printed document. This function saves a lot of maintenance time. Do not worry about its charge. The robot works autonomously for 8 hours. At a certain level of charge, the robot reports low battery. Then, after the next threshold, the robot displays a message on the screen, which asks you to send it for charging. When the critical level is reached, the robot interrupts the current process and rushes for charging. After full recharging, the robot returns to its workstation on its own.